Good day! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. It has been way too long. Let's see, we got Blitzer, Supermar, Death, Terror, Solo, Magician, Putnet, Put If Nask 73. Totally butchering your name. I apologize in advance. Sorry about that. Apparently G19 was Terror Toe. Well, that's okay. Crypto, hello, welcome. Right out the bat, loving it. What do I think about Planet Coaster? I haven't played it yet. Have not played it yet. Happy Thursday, X Evolution. Welcome. Water rides are scheduled. No update on those yet. Norwegian roller coaster. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, first and foremost, there are a bunch of follows we had uh, while we were absent. Or I should say while I was absent traveling. Um, August was a heavy month. We went through a lot. Did Gamescom and PAX. A lot of traveling. Good to be back. Glad to be here. A little rusty, perhaps, so bear with me as I readjust. So, some of the follows you have Miss Buttons, Hastel36, Rory O'Dare, Stuart C, Carbon6, Jamaican Wizard, Eflux, Leon Deck, Erica T. Wood, Claire, TL Nolan, and Well Martin. You guys are out in the channel right now. I appreciate those follows. That's awesome. Um, if you have not followed us, Beaker, yes, I'm alive. Good to see you. The Mr. Domsel, I'm going to give you guys a quick Twitter link if you have not received it already. Playing with the new tool here, a little h and bot. Still use a Moobot to do some giveaways, which we have. I got three keys I'm going to give away later. Um, so messing around with h and bot a little bit. If you want to take a ride on the coaster, exclamation point ride. The coaster has been ridden seven times. I was just messing around with some fun stuff for the chat, that's all. Did I get a haircut? Yes. I got many hairs cut. Womp womp. But uh, thanks for noticing. Yeah, as you can see, my receding hairline's kicking in, which is always awesome. Balding for the win. Um, but yeah, lots going on. Good to be back. I am on half my setup right now. The other stuff that we had shipped around to show RCW and some of the other titles we have off-site uh, at the conventions is in shipping now. It is in transit back from Seattle, so I hope it comes soon. But I am not sure when it will get here. I'm tracking it. We'll see. Um, I'll be able to get back up. That's why I want to make sure the audio is good. Because I'm not running off the dual PC setup. I'm single PC right now. So I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. You can see me. Uh, OBS is looking good. The levels on OBS are looking good. Uh, mic check was awesome. Yeah, death. The past few days, Twitch has been buffering for me like crazy too. So, not sure. Uh, and I see the chat scrolling. Remember to... Call out at Roller Coaster Tycoon if you do have a question. This way I can see it over on the chat side. Uh, easier to pick out. But enough staring at the blank screen. Tell you where we've been, what we've been doing. Um, I'm going to play with Western theme piece by piece today. So for those of you that have not seen it, uh, essentially it comes with all these different themes. These four themes, right? Generic, Adventure, Western, and Sci-Fi. Western is pretty popular. I like Western. It's one of my favorites. Uh, so I'm going to use Western today. You can see the trial tool. That's the actual builder, so you can build basically anything on a clean slate. It's a clean canvas. You can build whatever you want. Uh, but I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I'm going to use the pre-mades that were made by the dev team as inspiration, or kind of like a foundation, if you will. So I'm going to grab the bank real quick. Let's zoom in. And yes, I have everything on pause because I want to make sure that nobody comes in here and gets upset that I don't have any rides, that I don't have any stands, or drink stalls, or bathrooms. None of that. So, for reference, this is the bank, right? This is what it looks like. This is, you get a full Monty of all the way around. You can see as I go in to edit all the individual pieces. Finish that up because I don't want to edit. So I'm going to take this as a guideline, and I'm going to create my own vision, creative vision, if you will, of something similar. So I'm going to use, I'm going to keep the old one there, but I'm going to use this one as what I'm going to edit. So you can see the difference between the two as I go in and edit and make my updates. So this one, I'm going to just go jump right down. So you can see some of it's a little offline, off kilter, and that's okay. Um, personally, this is not my style of Western, and you'll see my style here in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go up and clean it just a little bit. Invisio, no offense, you did an excellent job on these pre-made pieces. I love it. If anybody from the dev team is out there watching, 
but I'm going to add a little bit of my flavor to it. So let's clean up some of the posts. It's nice clean. I don't want to call it a bank. I think I'm going to go with a blacksmith. And you'll see, I'll put the posts up in just a few minutes here. And I do see you scrolling there, chat. Give me just a moment. So the filtering is awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't seen that yet. I want to turn auto stack off. I'm going to do porch all the way around. There we go. And now, uh, should I cover it? I'm going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to go all the way around. Let's get the corner piece. Let's get these right. See if it snaps in. Beautiful. Beautimus. Let's get all the four corners in. Now I want the angle or slanted roof. Spin this around. This way we have full coverage of the roof all the way around. Nice. And immediately you can see the difference between the two. In a, in a matter of a minute. Was it like a minute and a half that I was working on that? See some questions? Give me just a moment, chat, please. Uh, walls. These are the ones that they were using. I'm going to use the same ones. I'm going to set them up just a little bit different. I don't like that the back cross post that they did. So I'm just going to go lay these around the entire edge. You guys can see. Wait, it's nice and even. And for those of you that have never been to one of these streams before, I tend to be a little bit particular about what I build. Not super OCD, but a little bit. So that's nice. I like that. Next up, I'm gonna do banisters. And I see chat scrolling. Yes, I do. Give me just let me do the banisters and then I'll look at some chat, answer some questions. I know everybody loves it when I answer questions. So, corners. Beautiful. Let's go with the flat straight rail. And I'm gonna close off the entire back sides i want to leave one open in the center for access to the door there we go there we go and again zoom out reference see that's what i started with i'm not going to add it to group grouping is awesome you create a whole section of the park and duplicate it in a matter of seconds somewhere else which is pretty cool i'll get to that shortly because i'm going to put a bunch of stuff i'm not just going to use piece by piece i'm going to throw in scenery um, and I'm also, I'm going to throw in one particular ride because it's a Western theme ride and I dig it. I'm um, not going to get too crazy. Uh, essentially, we're, I'm on an hour. I want to ease back into the schedule. I don't want to do anything crazy. So place the banisters. We're not finished yet. We're going to edit some more, but I do see the chat a scrolling. So let me see. Putton asking, how do you think Planet Coaster looks like? Good or bad? I think they're working on their own thing. From what I've seen, they're handling their business. And that's a duplicate. Carbon 6, I'm beyond excited for this game. Been playing since RCT1. Carbon, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, it is still in early access. We all know there's work that needs to be done. Uh, dev team is working on it, though. So stay tuned to Twitter. Uh, if you, you we'll try to blast out all of our updates there. And if I could spell today, HNL Box should give you a shout out to Twitter. You can take a look at that. Thiessen, hi to Adam. Welcome back, Thiessen. Good to see you. Have you seen my UGC Bumblebee and Star Wars stuff? No, I actually, I took a break from UGC. If right, Let me catch up everybody out there right now real quick. I used UGC a lot. A lot. If anybody sat in on my Amsterdam theme streams, uh, I used a ton of piece by piece. Uh, that's, it wasn't really in a pack, but one of the users out there specifically created this whole theme for Amsterdam. It's got a bunch of buildings, and I went through and created a park. Just one square in the park, didn't, didn't expand the park or anything. Um, and just used UGC to begin with, so I made a bunch of buildings. Um, I haven't tried to load it in a while. Um, don't want to try and load it right now. We'll work on this a little bit. Uh, but to jump into piece by piece after that... It was, it was a breath of fresh air. Uh, UGC, so there were things with UGC like when you place a piece, it automatically snaps down to the ground level, zero, right? It's 
So if you're going to build a tall building, anything over like two stories, you got to scroll up, drop it, scroll up, drop it. Well, piece by piece, auto stacking, super easy to stack up. Like if you're going to use uh, sci-fi and you want to build a gigantic skyscraper, you can auto stack everything up really, really easy, which is crazy. I love it. All right, what else? I see some. By the here, Putt's asking or saying, by the way, I think RCTW looks amazing. I'm a PC and RCW fanboy. That's awesome. Listen, the more out there in the genre is just great. Snarbring, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Um, and Death Tome, yeah, you could be a fan of both. I play Parkitect. I don't own Planet Coaster on my own account, so just throwing that out there. Um, but I have checked out some of their stuff, and it looks really crazy what they're doing. And, I mean, they're taking the genre right along. I mean, it's they're doing their thing. Nothing but love for PC. Those guys are great. You know, they're doing their streams. They're doing their blogs. You know, it's, it's awesome. I love it. No, I don't like to call it a competition, Death Home. You know that. It's not. It's just they're doing their thing. We're doing our thing. Uh, the Mr. Domsel asking, will there be another graphic update? I'm going to say yes, but I'm not going to put a date on that yet. For those of you that know Freja and have seen, she probably kicked my behind, so we won't do that. Thiessen, nice seeing you back. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Lo it's good to be back. I may trip on some words because it's been a minute or two. Um, looking all over the place. You can follow us coming in. Hopefully all the technical aspects are good. The sound is already. You can hear it. You can see it. I'm not dropping too many frames. I know uh, Twitch over the past couple of days has been a little uh, a little choppy here and there. I've had to do a couple F5s from time to time. And Snabring, Snabring. Uh, I'm butchering your name, I'm sure. Is there a mode in this game where you can visit other parks using WFC? I'm not sure what WFC is, Snabring. Can you elaborate on that just a little bit? And through the social hub right now, you can visit others' parks. I know there are some issues with those as well, but you can visit. That's the intention, to be able to go to other people's parks, look around. The functionality on that is limited right now. So you guys can hear my phone buzzing. Of course, notifications going off like crazy everywhere, but that's fine. Have you uploaded your central park? I, ha I did, but there were people having issues with that. And another park that I uploaded as well, to where it wasn't loading everything in the park. Um... So I'm not even sure. There's a lot in that central board I did for the contest. Uh, and for those that aren't aware, we did a contest uh, for specific locations around the globe. Uh, and we had a bunch of different categories, gave away a bunch of different prizes, like gift cards and t-shirts and stuff. Um, and I went and recreated something from Central Park called Harlem Mir. I'm not even going to attempt to load that right now because I'm straying from my focus here on piece by piece. But uh, yeah, that's got a lot of scenery in it. So, a lot of peeps in it. And then... You know, yes, glad to know I'm not alone in liking both. Yep, good, you guys. That's what I'm saying. Just listen. Get out there. You want to try them? Go for it. Nothing but love, man. I'm not going to hold it against you if you want to play that game versus ours. Of course, I want you to play RCTW, but play them all. Park Attack. There's another one. Throw it out there. Old school isometric perspective. So I guess it's on the list. Yes. And I think I'm good. I'm just making sure that, yeah, I'm, I'm scrolling in chat here. You see me <laughs> hovered over the game. All right. Now I think I got a bunch of stuff now. Remember to use at Rollercoaster Tycoon. Call me out so I can see it. I have it in dark mode, so it'll pop up nice and bright for me. And we're good. All right. So to continue... This is Blacksmith, right? So, being that I love some of the deco, I, this is my favorite of all time, the gigantic skull head. The bull skull, right? Right in the center. Is that actually in the center? Let's look at that. How does that look, chat? Does that look okay? Let's raise it up a little bit. Right there, beautiful. So being that this is a Blacksmith, um, that's something that should be mentioned. Um, I would love to see more iron smithing decor and pieces uh horseshoe is awesome but things like fire pokers 
Um, you can do like anything you could possibly think of, you know, trim, uh, iron bars for the jail, certain stuff like that. Anything that will come out of a blacksmith in those days. Anvils, gigantic anvil outside the blacksmith. That would be cool. Um, not to say somebody will make those in UGC, but we got horseshoes. We'll just do the lucky horseshoe over the door, just because I can. And now I want to add a couple of extras. I want to do lights, but I don't want to do them yet. We need windows on the side. I want to put a service entrance on the back here. Yeah, upside down door, take it into Never Neverland. Get this right in the center so I can see it. Easy. Power steering, gentle. Gentle. There it is. It's not too separated. Nice and easy. Right in the center. We'll do. You want to do doubles? We'll do doubles all the way around. Why not? Right in the center. Right in the center. Oh, we're buzzing. I'm sure you guys can hear that nice and loud. Sorry, you guys are going to have to be put on quiet. Thank you. Doubles on the side. And again, not perfect, but all in all, it will be finished. Rotating. Rotating nicely. Rotating reticular splines. Yes. Yeah, I see you scrolling, chat. Just a moment. All right, so we got a service door on the back. We got some windows on the side. Let's toss on. Let's do the blacksmith. Now, do I want to hang it here? No, I want to put lights there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a corner shot. Let's ride all the way up top, right there. This way you can see it coming from all angles. You have the crossroads. See what I did there, crossroads? Yeah, and the profile is not what it should be. I don't have my zooms. All right. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and get... Let's get a little crazy in the back. Let's say... Let's actually... We'll put it in front of the window. Let's do a bunch of barrels. But what I want to do with the barrels is I want to rotate them out. Raise it up just a little bit. I want to take off elevation snapping and auto stacking. So I can get it nice and finite. I'm going to line them up. Let's actually do angle snap to start because that will give me bigger jumps. There we go. Right, let's get crazy. So there's dropping it into the floor. How does that look? Is that floating? Yes, that's floating. We don't want floaters. No floating barrels. This is not Cowboys versus Aliens. So we'll take elevation snap off. Let me zoom down as flat as I can. There we go. All right, so you can see it. Right about there, I think. Back it up to the wall, just underneath the windowsill. We'll see what that looks like. Oh, it's pretty right here. Nice. All right, so we'll do that one there. Oh, let's line them up. As flat as I can. Get a big arrow right in the way, and that's okay. Very particular. Happy little barrels. Some happy little barrels. I'm going to use that five, and we'll do six for now, and then we'll stack some up on top. Let's see how that goes. We don't mush together. Try and get it to sit. All right. How does that look from the top? Not too shabby. All right, so let's do this. Back to the top down perspective. Line them up, we'll do five, and I'm just going to do these two rows. Probably stay here for a full hour-long stream and just play the barrels, but keep things in order and timely. Do two rows. Nice. Flagons of mead. Barrels of ale, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to actually put a bench because oh nice halfway sideways let's do it rotate angle snapping back on please thank you very much and i do see the chat scrolling give me just a moment lounging bench nope oh a little bit more um that straight that's straight there we go 
rotation right in front of the window lounging do a couple over on this side how's that looking pressed against All right. Beautiful. Awesome. We're going to do lights next. I think I'm going to ring some lights on these outside arch supports. But before I do that, I do see chat scrolling. So let's look and see. The Mr. Doms will ask you, will it be possible to rotate the scenery objects like the decorations from piece by piece? That's the end goal. Essentially, I know you can't do that right now. And if anybody tuned into the dev stream, Silent Osiris did a couple weeks back. Um, that was pretty crazy. He was showing some workarounds to where you can, how you can take and put scenery inside, so there's no collision and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just looking at out exterior right now. Um, I actually have a different park save where I'm working with the paths. Uh, may show a little bit of that. Try and lay a building real quick to show you how to do. Uh, make a path all the way around so the peeps will walk around these buildings, but you can cover them with the floor tiles So it looks like they're walking on the floor tiles, which is really cool What else who else did I miss Sylvester Temple Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Missed you. Good to see you. Don't worry about being late. That's fine Yeah, I had some issues going live. I was trying to log it wouldn't go online just doing f5s even though OBS was up and running which was uh a little annoying, but that's okay. Um, Soul of Venomous. I am a better park creator. My death helix was the best. Dude, awesome stream yesterday. Loved it. I'm um, looking forward to you doing more, too, honestly. We'll, willing to host you whenever. Um, you know, we talked a little bit offline about it as well. Challenge accepted. Not going to build out a full park here right now. We're just working with the piece by piece. Um, but definitely awesome stream, man. Love to tune in. What else have you seen? Rotation, yep, I got that one. I don't see any other callouts right now, so that looks good. What else is going on here? All right, leave me alone. Do not disturb. I told you. Thank you. Okay. All right, back to the game. So the benches are relatively even. Do I want to put benches over here? Nah, I'll just leave them. That's fine. Just leave them alone. All right, so a couple of roof pieces we can add. Nice big water tower. I'm actually going to do... That's right. Let's drop it down just a little bit. Spin this. Just angled off the side. Not crooked. We need a little bit of a capped chimney, if you will. One of those over here on the corner. Right there. Beautiful. That's another thing, too. Old Western-style... Hatches. So I would put a hatch on the roof and then put boxes and barrels up here using it as storage. That'd be awesome. Take note. Death Tom saying link to the dev stream. I don't have it all offhand. Um, we could check out the VOD on Silent Osiris's channel. Let's see if I can pull that up real quick. Give me just a sec. Give me a second. Let's look for. I'm not sure if the VOD is there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want that. Okay. I don't want to spend the entire time looking for it. So, you know what? I'm actually going to take a note of it here. Dev stream, VOD. See that so it doesn't go away. Of course, I'm taking notes like I always do. Cool, Sylvester, see what I can dig out? Awesome, Sylvester, I appreciate that. Nice. Found it. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and copy that link address. Paste it a couple times for you guys. You got it. Anybody just joining, welcome. Going through some Western theme piece by piece. Working on a recap. This is the starter piece I used on the left side, the bank. This is a pre-made from Invisio that came out with the Western theme piece by piece. And I've taken this exact 
model, put it on this side, and now I've edited it, edited it, edited it. Yeah, can't speak today either. So I've taken and updated it and adjusted it to my own creative vision. Turned it from a bank into a blacksmith. You can see my black, black, blah, 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 blah. excuse me, blacksmith signs, signage hanging off the corner. Uh, I was thinking about doing one on this corner, but I'm going to run some lights. That was what I was going to do next. So let's do that. Deco lights. Oh, let's go. What's updating? Stop updating, please. Thank you. Haven't been on this machine in a while. No updates, please. Thank you. Lights. We want to do... We hang the big ones. No, I like these, the torch ones. A little bit more dangerous to use. Easy power steering. Gentle. We'll do these two right up front. And then I'm going to line one over here. And one over here. Rotate. Got some lights. Come on. Oh, too much. There we go. Not too shabby. This one's not working properly, so we'll delete it. Put another one. It works. There we go. Just a couple inches below. Right in the center. Beautiful. There, now you can see it. Like those. And I'm thinking keeping in line with the general design theme here of the interior support pieces. I'm going to do the same on the sides. Just the three. Just the three. Keeping the corners clear. Put some scenery on the corners. Two and... Oh, rotate. How's that? Oh, one of the building's getting in the way. See, that's the beauty. You know what? That other building is in the way. You know what? Move it. Okay, put you over here for now. Out of the way. Thank you. Back. Don't want to move this one. How many times have you seen me do that, chat? Delete something because I'm still in delete mode. Go back to edit. Now finish the lights. These are all pretty straight, I do believe. And now same thing in the middle. I'm only going to do it on the four. So let's go deco lights. Get the hanging lanterns. Like I said, I mentioned before, I think these are a little bit dangerous. But it's awesome. Is that crooked? A little bit. Go ahead. An angle snapping off. Get it nice and straight. The reason I say these are dangerous is because they're open fire lanterns. And everything in old western themed towns is wooden and it's dry and it's hot. It's gonna catch up like a head of hair. Alright, and then. We're going to do one, two, three. Nice. We have lights all the way around. Beautiful. I'm really digging that. So now, what I want to do, roof looks good. Yep, I did the water tower and I did the chimney. Time check. It's 3.30 already. Wow. Also going to be doing giveaway. You got three keys, three standard keys we're going to give away at the end of the stream. So hopefully you guys stick around for those. Kira, welcome. G Jafar. Oh my goodness. Love to see you guys. Who else did I miss? Connor, welcome. Sorry, you feel that way? James P James Paler. I see what you did there. Some of them just start that way, James. Some of the pieces, they're, they're trying to auto-snap, and it depends on what surface you're on. So if you're hovered over like a flat ground surface and you select one of those items, it's going to try and auto-snap to that flat surface. Uh, you can see that with the doors, too. Like if you're over a flat surface, it's going to try and snap to that flat surface immediately and then adjust as you're moving it around. Um, yeah, James, free keys. See you. Got it. Well, Connor, how about you give me your opinion? Watch. I'm, I'm streaming it right now. You're watching it. You're looking at it. We all know that there's work to be done. PC's doing their thing. We're doing our thing. I actually don't want to... I was, gonna, I was thinking about bringing out the floor tiles to make like a path, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to steer away from that. Yeah, UAC. Not, that's not good UX. Uh, 
heard that before, most definitely. And that's the one things they're working on. So, theme park gamer, you should create floating grid lines so that you can line things that are straight across the item. Yes, that in, in terms of in tandem with snapping would help definitely. And yes, Kira, good point. Improving update by update. If anybody played it when we first went into early access, we had over 10 updates. Uh, that's everything including new content, bug fixes, patches, optimization, performance, all of that stuff. It's, it's a different game. It really is. UGC opened up a whole world for me, aside from the simulation part of it, to just be super creative and piece by piece just added onto that like no other. So, worldwide, 46 viewers. I'll take it. Faceless, welcome back. Good to see you. Theme Park Gamer, thank you. It looks really good. Appreciate that. So, back into the extras. Let's do some watering troughs. Where are you? There they are. So, let's go ahead and spin these around. I'm going to do my top-down perspective. I'm going to turn on my angle snap. I don't want auto stacking on, please. Thank you. There we go. I get it lined up. So, we'll do four across. Because everybody in the West has horses. Anybody want to make horse UGC? All right. Now, next... Pitching post, if it would select it. All right, let's do this. Let's get a little bit. That's better. Right between, so you can hitch up your horse right by the watering trough so it doesn't die of thirst in the hot desert. The wild, wild west. All right. Nice. Dig those. Those look awesome. Now, see what I miss anything? Nah, we've got a bunch of boxes in the front. I don't need to add any more of those. Random spikes. Sculpted posts we could use. I don't like using any of the thick stuff. I like a. You can see how. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do that. Let's see. That's which one are they using here? They're using the big one. Is that the big one? I'm not sure if that's the big one. It might be. It might not be. What I was gonna do is I was. You see how it's got this outer molding, so to speak. I was gonna do the same. I was gonna run one across, but then it's gonna mess with my bodacious horn head over there so i think that's gonna do it for the piece by piece part of it for right now now let's jump into some scenery what are we missing cacti need more we need more cacti in the scenery so let's do, let's do two in the middle do a couple of randos on the side here, one on the back, and one over here. And you'll see why I'm placing them all differently here in a moment. Where's the dead tree? There it is. Put a dead one over here. Dead one over here. A little flavor. And shrubberies. Barrel cacti. A couple of these right in the middle, right up front. One. To, I'm way too symmetrical to be building western stuff. I know it's usually random, so put a couple over here, a couple over here. The reason I'm putting all these down, I'm going to show you in a minute building information once I'm done and I pull it up. So we put in some rocks, why not? Try to use as much as we can. Yeah. Bouncing rock right here. Let's do odd shapers around a little j shaper back here o shape way in the back what else do we got centerpieces yeah there's three centerpieces and i mean i would love to use that one it would be cool to have a mine old western mine but it's got it's got those pine trees on it that's a different it's a venture theme anyway so i don't stagecoach gotta have old-fashioned stagecoach and we'll do the windmill back over here. We can do the water tower. That's, I want the water tower, not the windmill. All right, actually, you know what? Let's put, let's do two water towers. Let's do one here and then one here. Now I wish that we had the paintbrush tool in this one specifically for sand in, uh, what is it, frolicking forests? That one's cool because it makes it like really white sand. It's like oh, super dry sand, which would be awesome. 
I see you scrolling chat just a minute. Um, I don't need specialty. I'm not touching any UGC. Fences we're not doing. Decor? Yeah, it's only spotlights and candy canes still. All right, I heard you. Relax. Stop buzzing. Really? Oh, fine. My iPhone is going nuts. I think it just choked on itself a little bit. So you can see the blacksmith. I think we're okay. Nothing crazy. Digging it. Half, I would say maybe like 20, 25 minutes to build all this. First and foremost, I'm going to save the blueprint. Let's call it Western Blacksmith. Save it, give it a minute to save. And as it's saving, I see chat scrolling here. Just a minute, let me look and see if I missed anything. Death Tome. Building looks great. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Sylvester, you've cracked me up. I hope this is going up on the workshop. I can't build anything more complex than a box. Yes, I'm going to save it. I got a couple of others that I haven't put up there yet that I'm going to. Um, and I'm working on a multi-span one that's like a, a bunch of different uh, stalls in the middle, kind of like a midway. And then uh, like branches off and, and you'll see. I'm not even going to get into it. Total, welcome. Good to see you again. For the path. So fresh. Can you please place down a rock archway for the path? I had a visual glitch with it and want to know if it's just you. What's the visual glitch? seen a bunch. Ross Chris, good to see you. Welcome back. PXP love, yes. Awesome. What else? Face is saying PXP looks good. Needs a couple of tweaks. Other than that, it's there like most things in the game. Yes. We know there's work to be done. Using early access to its full extent. Getting the game into as many hands as we can to get the feedback, right? That's what it's all about. Ross Crit, I love this game to bits. Yes, you and me both. I've been traveling way too much and have not had enough time. I think I broke 300 hours, which is nowhere near compared to some of the craziness out there. You guys have been putting in time on the game. Um, that's going to change too, because I want to put more out. Piece by piece now is crazy. Just alone. This is what I did in less than a half an hour on my own, and let's finish it. But now you can see... You can see when I highlight it, it doesn't highlight the actual uh, stagecoach or the water towers. Or, well, actually, it actually does highlight the windmill. Didn't do that on the last one. Or the rocks. But if you come into info, you can see here in the info that a total piece is 181. Total cost of what you save it. That's how much it's going to cost you to put it in your park. And here's the grouping. This is where it gets crazy. You can see all the scenery that I put down. The different cactuses, cacti, cactuses. That's not a word. Different cacti, all the dead, the dead tree that I put. You can see the western wagon, the windmill, and the water tower. Um, you can ungroup them all real easily, which I'm not going to do because I want to keep them all together. Because I want to save that blueprint as it was or as I did. So let's go in and edit. You know what? One more time. I want to, Let's go ahead and save it one more time. Let's do western black smith, if I could spell... 2.0. Two. Let's just do two. This way I know all the scenery's there. Save it. Give it a minute to save. Hoopa loops! Good to see you again. What did I miss? What did I miss? Server test. Yes, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I don't want to sit here and just read chat the whole time. I actually want to play the game. That's the point. Have fun, stream it, enjoy it, hang out with everybody, right? So when I, I'm trying to scroll, see what I'm missing. If I did miss anything, please use at Roller Coaster Tycoon to call me out. I have chat scrolling in dark mode, so I can see it really easily if you do call me out. Yeah, they're so fresh. The plants on it were pink. I've seen, and I've seen that on other ones too, not just the actual rock arch. Wasn't planning on running any paths in this one. We could do that though, because we're pushing 20 to 4, and I have to be off in an hour, unfortunately. Once I get back into good schedule... Go over. We've gone over in a couple. Because what I want to do is, one of the cool things with piece by piece is the usage of the grid, right? When I was using UGC, there was a grid and a lot of stuff was locked to the grid, which was awesome. Um, and piece by piece is very similar. 
Uh, what I'm loving about piece by piece is you can use this grid for pathing, which is really different than what I was used to in terms of not using any grid at all, uh, just laying general paths and then starting to use it a little bit. You actually go through and create, thank you very much, I'm turning you off now, you're done, goodbye. Um, Turning the grid off and using it in normal mode without piece by piece was different, and it's like a step up. So I can essentially, like I said, for those just joining, uh, the path could be ran around. You could draw it around this building and then place these tiles over it so that when you connect it, the peeps can go and walk around on all the stuff. Now, interactivity is a little bit limited, like the, the benches that I put, because they're piece by piece, I'm pretty sure that they won't interact at this time. Uh, but I haven't gone as far as to go and, and actually lay down a um, any of the pathing and, and place the western benches on those paths. Looking at notifications over here, I apologize. Give me just a moment. All right. Good, good, good. What did I see? All right. <clears throat> Saw that one from So Fresh, Ross, Chris. Like this, yes, just like that just like that so now being able to update and edit this thing uh, I saved it off 2.0 or version 2 let's finish it take it and move it see you can take the whole thing now so a good example to use think of a scenario builder you start with a park that has three expansions so you have your starting grid of one square and each square on the side of it immediately to the right and the left left side is sci-fi right side is western the scenario is to take and recreate the themes on the opposite sides you could create one side as you will pieces one whole side however you want duplicate it quickly and put it over on the other side same thing for the sci-fi vice versa the other is to Combine the two. Sci forget the scenario editor. Aliens versus cowboys, right? Sci-fi and western. Um, I have some rough sketches that I want to go through, and uh, can't change the color of the sky. Sci-fi, sci-fi, and I really can't talk today. It's been too long. Seriously, has been too long. All right. Something I noticed is that you can't change the color of the sci-fi antenna. Okay, is that piece by piece? Or is that... I'm pretty sure that's in piece by piece. And I've noticed that too. I actually created um, some of the stuff that we were showing to press over at Gamescom and PAX. Uh, really simple. is like taking, for example, this one's done. I want to... Let's, let's go ahead and move this guy. Rotate it around go off the move tool let's go in and edit piece by piece let's take the wall pieces and color the wall pieces so let's get like a you know it's that grayish brown let's make it a little bit more of a reddish brown about right about here. and let's add that to our favorites now we can go around now just a little bit pieces and yes multi-select is on the list that would be fantabulous to go surgically select all of your pieces oh, I missed it but immediately it adds a different feel to the actual building so you can see the top ones I know that there's the one behind it come here you I see you back there there it is a little bit and you can see how it instantly makes a difference. Like, I'm going to say, I'll take it and move it. So that was one of the things with UGC, is that if you put down a whole bunch of UGC, like if, if any of you watched that Amsterdam stream that I did, the, I think I did a couple of them, it was... You couldn't change the color. So that Amsterdam village that I created, it was the same color, even though I made different building styles and designs. Uh, you couldn't color them. But now you can take and color the pieces. And one of the really cool things, you can see I missed one. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to move it. Let's go ahead and edit one more time. Colors. There we go now. Finishing off. And actually, you know what? Let's go edit one more time. And I'm going to show really cool. So to, to you notice it's not just a, a paint bucket. It's not just a dump tool. And if I come in real close, you'll see on barrel, if I can, do I want to make those lighter? Let's actually make them um, a little bit. Let's go. Let's right about. No, that's too orange. No, right there. Perfect. That is a little too orange. But you can see the iron that holds the barrel together didn't change. It stayed the same color, which is really cool. Attention to detail. Let's go ahead. Color. I actually like that one. That actually matches nicely. Let's just use that one. That orange one is just too orange. But you can make a bunch of different barrels. Some may be full of whiskey. Some may be full of beer. Some may be full of dynamite. Who knows? Wild West. They were crazy back then. That's awesome. I like those. Do the boxes too. I mean, you, you get crazy with it. I mean, seriously, it's hours and hours. And it's quarter two already. So, magician saying, it's not too orange. Orange is my favorite color. Okay. Yeah, making colorable UGC isn't the easiest thing to do. To be honest with you, Death, Death Tome, uh, creating UGC in and of itself is not an easy thing. I do not create it, so I commend all of you out there, all of our UGC content creators uh, that have made awesome stuff. Props, kudos, cheers. I mean, the, some of the stuff you guys have created out there is, is amazing, really crazy. Donkey Kong barrels, yes. Hoopa Loops, yes, whiskey, all right. It's not turning into a whiskey stream, not happening. Um, so we're done. I'm actually one more time because all the changes. Let's go. This is the bank. Western Bank. Save the blueprint. Let it save for a minute. And yeah, once the stream is done, I'm going to go out to the social hub. I'm going to put these out there. This way they're up. I also want to take some screen grabs as well. Uh, we put a album up on Facebook. A album. We put an album up on Facebook. Uh, for just the Western theme piece by piece right now, uh, Forgeth, I'm not sure if Forgeth is out here in the chat, but he did some really cool stuff. I'm going to put some of mine up there, uh, asking everybody, listen, create a thread wherever, it doesn't matter, get it up, put it up there. I know that uh, there is a, I think the Western theme, I don't know, what he, was it the saloon? I can't, rem I can't remember what the name of the thread was, but in the creativity forum, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of places, you can place them wherever, and we're going to be doing that for each theme too, so... Uh, we're looking for creativity across the board, not just for Western, but for all of them. And we like to drink with RCW. Nope, not happening. So we're done with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Nothing grouped, no music, stats, 87 pieces. Awesome. Take that little screeny. Do another little one right here. I don't know if the backside shot looks as good. Let's come over here and get it from this angle. It needs to be filled out a little bit more. But essentially, let's do another one. We're taking a couple. There we go. Beautiful. And actually, let's do a couple of them without the UI. back we're good server test you can't stop the stream this is so great to watch rcd has developed so well continue stream please thank you. i wish listen i wish i could go over an hour today guys but still catching up with a lot of stuff from traveling over the, the past few weeks so um trying to incorporate other streamers as well um i want to spread the love i want to show people are playing it people are having fun with it yeah we know there's work to be done but we're working we're still here not going anywhere like I said, I'm, I'm going to kill it in just about 10 minutes. Yeah, I got about 11 minutes, and I got three keys I want to give away. So, could I add a ladder to the water tower? Server test, I absolutely could. I am not going to, because I want to save. That's to work on it later. Let's call it Western. Were you shocked that I was going to call it Western? Oh, uh, there's Western. That's good. That's good enough. Stream build. 
to be continued. Save it. Please wait. Waiting patiently. Thank you very much. Let's go quit out to the main menu. Get a little bit of that lovely main menu theme music for our giveaways. There it is. Ah, so peaceful. So gentle. Cool. Loop loops. Piece by piece is really cool. And the orientation of piece to... But why not do the same for UGC? Because it, it works a little bit differently. Loop loops. Grid system is different for piece by piece. Um, and it's going to work similar with the packs and the uploads, but it is, it's a little bit different. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of tough. Cool. All right. So giveaways, let's get it up. Let's see if Wubot is going to work nicely with me. Use a raffle list. Do it. Come on, don't choke on me now. James Paler! James! You like to drink with RCTW? Now you can play it. While you drink in your own house and do whatever you do. You just want to keep. Come on. Talk to me in chat. Let me know you're still there, James. James Paler, 32. Come on, chat. Start screaming at James. Congrats, James. You are most welcome. So James, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for anybody else that wins too, uh, I'm going to go ahead and message you on Twitch. So stay tuned to your Twitch messages. Not in, not the private messages or whispers, but your actual inbox. Uh, I'm going to send the key over there. So stay tuned to that. I'm just taking note here of who won the first key. And that would be James Paler, 32. Sing me a song, James Paler. Got two more keys to go. Got about eight minutes left. Congrats, James. Love it. Cliffy, Rando. I'm doing RNG on Moobot. Just use a list raffle. Anybody that's out there. That's going to change soon. Uh, I'm going to start doing, if you, if you don't follow, I'm not giving you anything. Uh, I'm going to do some specific uh, chat raffles. Uh, specific terms. I'm doing a random generator server test. Just sort of with Cliffy, Cliffy the Nerd was asking the same thing. Mr. Domsel, why does the music stop when the loading screen appears? I think it's just because it's switching over music. Like, this is... Where you're, we're sitting at the main menu right now, so it's got different music from when you're in-game. Peace out, people. Okay, James, you're going to play, right? Awesome. And there's the follow. Nice. Welcome, James. Welcome to the RCTW chat. All right, next. Come on. Boobot. Sometimes I really don't like... I gotta get a new chat raffle. Choking on me. Choking on me. Schlupog! Are you still there? Schlupog. Schlupog, no. Let's see if you're there. Faceless, yes. I. There are going to be more dev streams. They have to be. I'm not giving away my D20. Not happening, server. This is my... This. See this? This is my D20. Alright, last call. Schlupog. Let's see if you're let's see if you're even still in here. If you're not if you're not even in chat. Oh, I see you there. Alright. Call you out. It's your last call. Yeah, it was hot, hiding in the background. You're not getting it. Not getting it. That's my D. That's my PAX East D20. Vattengeck. 
Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm not going to try and pronounce the whole name because I'm sure I would butcher it and offend you. I don't want to do that. Rip. Rip indeed, Total. Going on to the next one. Moobot doesn't choke out on me now. We got two more keys. It cannot be that bad, Moobot. Come on. Canaldo Sims. Or Canal Do Sims. Are you even in here? Canal. Canal do Sims. You are not following, but that's okay. Moobot is slacking, Death Tome. I'm, I gotta move. I've been playing with h &L Bot, but I didn't play with it too long, so I didn't see if it had a giveaway uh, or raffle option or functionality. That's something I gotta look at, too. Come on! All right, this is it. Theme park. It. Con con congrats, Canal. Get off the toilet. Hey, welcome, Alton, dude. Yeah, no, that was Nightbot. I fired. I got completely rid of Nightbot, Sylvester. That thing was just. It was too sensitive in terms of bands and timeouts, and I just got rid of it. I tried tweaking it on the back end, but. Are just annoying. All right, last call for Schlaupog new. I'm gonna do another one. Last call. Schlaupog, are you out there? No, I'm not spending more time doing the raffle than streaming. I've been doing the raffle for six minutes. That's it. Done. Come on. We got three minutes here. Total! I know you're there. I see you. Better, I see you out there. I'm giving it to you. It's yours. Take it. NM. I always. I always. Pickle Pants! Welcome! Good to see you. Come on, Total. I know you're out there. Name, I, I don't, NM4Y, I always butcher your name, that's why I call you Total, because that's the only thing I can pronounce. All yours, all yours, I'm just marking it down here, to find my mouse floating about. Last key, let's do it. Let's move on. Takes its time to reset. Love it. Yeah, I see him. Beams. Beams. I'm totally butchering your name. Let's even see if you're in here. B-E-E-M-E-S. Beamus? Beams? Not sure if you're just away from your keyboard. AFK, so to speak. Nice out, DC. I'm just playing RCT3 about three hours, about an hour ago. Nice. It's awesome. Come on, Beams. I can't, because you haven't spoken. I can't. B-E-M-E-S. That's the winner. Beams, where are you? A little parsnip till beverage. <clears throat> Come on, last call for Beams. Got one minute till four o'clock. One minute till four o'clock. Brom B1, welcome. Ah, solo. No date on the water ride yet, Pickle Pants. That's it. Andre Coeur, no update on new rides yet. Uh, piece by Piece was the big release they just did. Yeah, one, two, three, Pazu next. I agree. Schlaupog, I see you messaging me. What's up? 
I missed you. You won. What happened? Where did you go? I don't know. They just they wander off. I guess I'm just not that exciting for some people. Feels bad, man. Okay, good. Well, I'm gonna give it a schlop hog here because he messaging me here privately. That user settings prevent them from receiving this whisper. Turn off do not disturb mode, schloop hog. Schlop hog. Yeah, I know. I got, I'm gonna get something that's... And it's because I'm doing just general chat picks. So people could be AFK, and that's one of the things I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit in terms of doing giveaways is making sure that they're not AFK, making sure they follow the channel, uh, stuff like that. They can go a lot quicker. Which would be awesome. So Shloop Hog is whispering me. He needs to turn off do not disturb mode. And I'll give another minute. But I appreciate you guys hanging. I mean, that's really going to be the end of the stream. I'm going to message everybody that won keys after it's over. Combi, welcome back. you coming back at the end of the stream, dude. Yeah, I'm following us on Twitter. Yeah, I see you. I'm giving it to you. All right, as long as you're making note, that's all. Because I responded to you over on the whisper there, Sloop Hog. I'm going to give it to you. Called you out. I'm going to give it to you. Let's go ahead. Sloop Hog. Make sure I got the appropriate person. Watch you over here. Three keys. Um, we were closed this past Monday for the holiday, so there was no stream on Tuesday. Trying as best as I possibly can to get back to a normal streaming schedule. Uh, we're also trying to get the dev team to do more dev streams, which uh, everybody loved the dev stream. There was a great outpouring, which was really awesome. I would love to be able to, you know, see more of those. Um, I've done a couple of quasi dev streams, going over patch notes and stuff like that. Haven't gotten an outstanding ovation but uh i think it's it's nice just to see it come from the devs to really sit down know that they're working on it they can talk to things differently they have a different perspective than i do so uh, it's always just good to see it again i appreciate everybody hanging i know cut it kind of short i'm going to end the stream here momentarily but what i am going to do i told you guys i'm going to share my stuff I'm going to put it all up on a workshop. I got a, a backlog of stuff I got to put up there. Um, also going to be updating YouTube stuff, too. Um, I know I've been putting the archives out there. I'm going to continue to do that with this one. But uh, I think YouTube could be better served if we were to put up some different content over there. So, talking about walkthrough guides, tutorials, interactive, stuff like that. So... I just want to scroll. I don't think I missed anything else. Oh, water rides we got. Solo Venom is saying just give the key to me. I'll bring it away on next stream. Uh, I'll see what I can do about getting some keys for you to give away solo. I can't make any guarantees, but I'll poke around and see what happens. Yep, and that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate you all hanging. It's been way too long. I need to get back on that bicycle and start riding it again. So uh, until next time, you know where to find me. Over on Twitter, Steam, Facebook, forums. Um, message me. Let me know. If you're a content creator, streamer, and, you, and you're looking to stream Roller Coaster Tycoon World, let me know. Always looking to get more hands on it. Other streamers, better perspectives. And uh, once again, until next time, appreciate everybody hanging out. Have a great weekend.